All right, young Padawan, the robots are coming for you, and you only have 12 minutes to build a lightsaber to protect yourself before they get to you. So what do you do? Well, I'm going to show you. So this project is based on lightsaber game by Exolidal, but there are a ton of awesome ways people have built lightsabers in Hopscotch, including all of these. And you should check them all out, but let's dive in. All right, you're in your editor, and this button is your objects menu. This is where we grab things that we can put in the project to make them do stuff. This button is the play button. If you play it, it'll show you what you've made so far. So far we have nothing. So let's go back to edit and let's make a game. So the handle for my lightsaber is going to be made out of a pen emoji. An emoji or text objects, so I'm going to drag out a text object. I'm going to put it anywhere on the screen. And now to set the text, I can either set it to text or I can make it an emoji. And the emoji button is right here in the corner. So I'm going to pick emoji and then you're going to find pen under the objects tab of your emoji. So it might take you a second to find it, but once you do, it should look like this. So pause the video if you need a second to grab your emoji. So once you have that, let's make it twice as big. So let's give it a rule. So tap add a new rule. And this is the when's menu. This decides when your rule will happen. So we want our pen to be twice as big in the very beginning of the game. So I'm going to pick when the play button is tapped. And then I'm going to go down to the green looks and sounds tab to change the size. And I'm going to pull out a set size block. And I'm going to set it to 200%, which is twice as big as it normally is. So press check and let's press play and see if it happened. Cool. It's a bigger handle. All right, let's go back to edit. And let's exit out of this rule by tapping outside of it. Now let's add a new object. So go to the objects menu and drag out another te text object. Now this is going to be our lightsaber object. So we don't need to name it anything, so you can just tap cancel here. So the first rule is we're going to have it draw a beam of light. So go to add new rule, pick when the play button is tapped, and then go to drawing, which is the purple tab down here, and drag out a leave a trail object, a leave a trail block. Now pick the color you want your lightsaber to be. So I'm going to pick green. And I'm going to make the width 25. This is the width of your lightsaber beam. And then here you move forward 300. This is the length of the lightsaber beam. So 300 is great. So I'm going to press check down here. And I'm going to see what happens. Cool. That's a great beam, but it's not coming from the right place and it's not in the right angle. So let's go to edit and let's fix those things. So to get it in the right place, I'm going to go to movement, which is this red tab. I'm going to pull out a set position block. And I want to set it to the position of the pen. And I want it to always be at the pen no matter where the pen is. So I can't just pick any random number for this bubble and this bubble. I need to pick values. So go to values, which is next to calculator, and then tap on this gray arrow next to your text object until you see the pen's values. And so one of those values is its X position. This means how far left or right the pen is on the screen. So pick this X position for this bubble. So we're setting it to the pen's X position. Now tap on the Y bubble and go to values again and drag the pen's Y position into the Y bubble. And this is how high the pen is on the screen. So let's see what happens now. Cool, it starts at the right place, but it's still moving to the right and not up at this angle. So let's go to edit, and let's go, let's tap outside of the rule, <clears throat> and let's add a new rule to our light object. So when the play button is tapped, I'm going to go to movement again, and I'm going to pull out a set angle block, and I'm going to drag it into here. So I want to point where the pen is pointing. So I'm going to go to values. I'm going to tap until I find the pen's values, and I'm going to pick the pen's rotation as my reference for where this light should be pointing. Let's see what happens. Okay, it didn't work. That's because emoji and all objects are always pointing to the right as zero. But this particular emoji graphic looks like it's pointing 45 degrees higher than that. So we're going to go to edit, and we're just going to add 45 degrees to the rotation. So tap on the rotation and pick the plus button right here and then go to values again and pick the pen's rotation as the first part of that summation and for the second bubble 
pick 45. Now let's see if it's pointing in the right direction. Awesome. Okay, so now you have a lightsaber. So this is how to make a lightsaber if it's not moving at all. But now the important part is that we want to be able to move this lightsaber around and have this still work. So the way we made this lightsaber is this is a line we drew. And trails can't move around. They're not objects like that. So what we're going to have to do is every time this pen moves around, the trail is going to have to redraw. So let's do that. Let's go back to edit. And first, let's exit out of here and make the pen move. So I'm going to go to the pen, and I'm going to add a new rule. So I'm going to pick when the play button is tapped, and I want to be able to tilt the lightsaber around. So go all the way to control flow, because we want to be able to repeat this process forever. So drag out a repeat forever block, and then go all the way up to movement again, and pull out a change x by block, and put it inside the repeat forever loop. And now we want to change x by how much you tilt the iPad left or right. So go to values, tap on this arrow to get to the iPad's values, and drag in a tilt right percent. The bigger this tilt right percent is, the further to the right you'll move. So let's see what that looks like. Cool, so I can tilt the pen around, but that beam doesn't follow me, right? Also, I want to be able to tilt up and down. So first, let's fix that second problem. So tap outside of here, add a new rule to the pen, when the play button is tapped, same thing, we're going to do repeat forever, drag out a repeat forever block, and then go to movement and drag in a change Y by block. This changes things up and down. And go to values and tap until you're in the iPad's values and pick tilt down percent. So the further down we tilt, the further up and down the pen moves. So let's press play. So now the pen can move anywhere you want when you tilt your iPad. Now we need that beam to follow the pen around. So this is the tricky part. So let's get out of here and let's go to the beam object. So tap on that text object. Let's go to this first rule that we made. And what we're going to do is we're going to have these two things happen all the time. So let's go to control flow. So these two things are set position to the handle and then beam out 300, right? So we want to repeat this process all the time. So we're going to go to control flow, and we're going to pull out a repeat forever block, and we're going to put these blocks inside it, and make sure that's in this order. Set position, leave a trail. So let's see what happens now. Cool, so there, this is sort of getting there, but for one, it's too slow, and for the other, it's drawing everywhere the pen has ever been. So that doesn't look right. So let's go back to edit, and let's speed it up. So go to movement and drag out a set speed block before everything and set it to super fast, nine trillion. Now let's see what it looks like. Cool, okay, so we're getting closer, but still it's drawing anywhere that pen has ever been. But we don't want that to happen. So what we're gonna do to fix that is we're gonna have another object draw a white trail that covers this all the time. So go back to edit, exit out of here, and go to your objects menu and drag out a new text object. We don't need to name it, so you can tap cancel. And then add a new rule. So when the play button is tapped, we're gonna draw a white dot that covers the screen all the time. So go to drawing, drag out a leave a trail, pick white or pick whatever color you want your background to be. And then make the width 3000. And you can move forward once, but then, Drag out another move forward block under this, but with inside the leave a trail, and pick negative one. So this object never leaves the same position it's in. It's moving one pixel to the right and back one pixel to the left. Because if you don't do that, every time it draws, it'll slowly be going to the edge of the screen. And once it's off the screen, it's not going to draw anymore. Okay, so this is great, but we need it to happen all the time. So we need to go to control flow and pick a repeat forever block and drag this inside it. So let's see what that looks like. Great. Cool, and now you have a lightsaber. Now if this color is too light, you can always change it by going back to the light object where it's drawing. You can change this color to you know, red, for example, and play with that. 
right? So if you want to be a Sith Lord, for example. Okay, so now let's add one more part. Let's be able to turn the rotation of the lightsaber based on pressing on the left or right side of the screen. So go to the handle and add a new rule. And in the Wens menu, pick More and then pick Blank is Pressed. Pressed means this rule will happen anytime your, your finger is touching the screen. So while the screen is being pressed, this will continue to happen. That's the difference between pressed and touched. So pick iPad, press check, and then go to Control Flow and drag out a check if else block. So what we're going to do here is that if you are touching the left side of the screen, we're going to turn counterclockwise. If otherwise, that's what else means, you're going to turn clockwise. So let's pick smaller than here, and then go to values, and tap on the gray arrow, and pick last touched X. So this is the number that measures how far to the left your finger last touched the screen. And then for the second bubble, pick 500, which is the middle of the screen. So this means if the last place you touched is on the left side of the screen. So if that's true, we're going to go to movement, and we're going to pull out a turn block, and we're going to turn 48 degrees. You can play with that number, but that's how fast it'll turn. And else means that where you pressed must have been further to the right of the middle of the screen. So in which case, drag out a turn block and make it negative 48 degrees. So let's see if it worked. Okay, so the handle turned, but the beam didn't. Because we never made a rule that always sets the angle of the beam to the angle of the handle. We did it once, but we never made that repeat forever. So let's go back to edit. Let's exit out of this rule and go back to the lightsabers rule and go back to this rule, the one that says set angle to rotation plus 45. We did this once, but we need to repeat it forever. So go to control flow and drag out a repeat forever block and drag this inside it. Now let's see if it works. Awesome. Okay, so now you have a lightsaber that you can move around. So if you've seen videos like the fuzzy draw video, you'll know that there's a way to be able to change the color in the game. So I encourage you to take a look at that or look at projects that change colors like any draw pads. And then you can create bad guys that the lightsaber hits. But one note, um, this object is not going to be able to hit anything because it's invisible and trails don't interact with other objects. So you're going to have to create another object that's the shape of this lightsaber that's 99% invisible that hits objects in order to get them to be blown away by it or cut. Um, I can go more into that in the forum if you want. Just let me know by going onto the forum um, or reaching me on our YouTube channel. Anyway, so I can't wait to see the awesome lightsaber games you make and you will be on your way to becoming a Jedi Master. All right, see you later.